Hey, so uh, so we didn't film this because we needed all hands on deck, but we tried a little vinyl on the uh, headlights. This uh, vinyl tent, and uh, well, Nathan wanted to try a different look on his lights. And hey, uh, yeah, they're not perfect, but I think they're going to be perfect for us. And Lainey is doing the trim work, doing a good job. And then here soon we'll show you what it looks like installed. I'll oh, see if that's what those look like. We'll put the fascia on. I think it looks good. What do you think, lady? I like it. It turned out good. Mm -hmm. Cool. So go ahead and set that up on the front there, Nate. We'll see what it looks like. There's mom and you, Lainey. Let's take a look. Oh, that's gonna look good. Yeah, I mean, I think it gives it a nice look. I like it. All right, yellow lights looks really good. What do you think, Mama? I like it. All right, let's get it going. Well, let's put the bumper on. I really like the, the contrast of it, too. Yeah, those and lights also, look really good. Messed up. This needed to go on when this was off. Oh, we'll take a look here. I don't remember. Uh, I do, because I can see where the holes are. <laughs> I think, uh... It's not gonna go like this, so it probably had to go... I think you're right. It does go like that. Back there. But we could take off the bottom and yeah, pull so it we'll out. Yeah, so just take off these two and be able to... Yeah, I just saw that and I was like, hmm. Yep, I think you're right. But that does look good. I like the way that, that yellow looks. No, yeah, the one yellow really... I mean, it really changed the whole dynamic of it. Because, I mean, it doesn't have the mm -hmm. LED lights. I don't really care if it has the LED lights. No, that looks good. Okay, well, let's take the bottom two torques off and we'll... Uh, yeah. Put that fairly thing on, and we'll be good to go. Because it should pull out far enough. I just need to find a really big Allen. Okay, we'll put the fair lead on. That's gonna look good, let me see that. Mm-hmm, that look good. Because you see, it'll be hard to access the bolts. And I can't remember if I had to do mine before or after, but let's just get it done. All right, bumper's on. Grill is on. Let's go ahead and put the, the jack on so the front's completely done. Yeah, we just got to get the winch hook still. And then get the hook on. The hook will be the final piece de resistance. That's just a high lift jack UTV size, so it's just a little shorter one. Yeah, I think it's 48 inches. Is it 48? And then a high lift jack uh, 36 actually. mounts on his front bumper. Yeah, just tube mounts. Kind of gives it a cool look. And it puts it in an easy to get to spot as well. Yes. And truthfully, it's really the only spot I could put it. Yeah, we tried some spots over here where you have your auxiliary tanks and it just didn't didn't work very good and that looks good grab the hook and it should be a cotter pin over there mm -hmm. and you gotta put one of those isolators on later? Yeah, at some point. I just didn't realize it didn't come with one. Or see, I have the thumbnail, so it just goes all the way back. It already has the built-in rubber. Yeah, and I think what it is is because they sent me the wrong one, and I didn't realize that this one didn't come with the synthetic, because I do know the synthetic comes with a different standard hook. No, uh, that's oh, a, didn't? no, uh, same uh, one? Okay. Yeah, that's the same one. Know. That's why I bought the Fab 5 that you told me about. Factory 55. See, again, I'm totally wrong. Factory 55. That's, Can you just push that one? Yes, it's a pain. I kind of have to pinch it to make it fit. Okay, so Nathan has uh, many talents, and he's going to make a strap for his hook, and he's using a parachute static line. Yeah, so I just took off the hook piece, and then I cut out. That's a cool hook. This is a extension so then this would just 
go and I cut off that extra bit because that's too too thick. So I'm just making my own loop, basically. To loop around the roll bar. And basically we set it that long. And then we're gonna give it that much. You can go a little longer as you wanted want to. to. I'm just gonna cut that off. That's definitely more durable than take that and burn this. This is a serious heavy duty machine. That gave us one really big loop. So that way they both are down. And then I'll just add another loop. So this way it's kind of holding them down and then I'll add a loop, like basically just binding it shut. Oh, oh I see what it. you're saying, okay. Right, so this will give it some, mm -hmm. some this way. And then just so it cleans it up. Make the loops the same size. I'm just gonna make the loop the same size by doing that. Very cool. And then I'll just run one line all the way down the whole thing to bind these two together as well. But that won't take long. And Nathan also, he made a, his own loop that you were just watching, which looks really cool. But also he put a, a tube, what'd you call that? So this is tubular nylon webbing. Tubular yeah. nylon webbing. And that's about what, two feet, three feet? Yeah, probably close to like three-ish feet. I didn't really measure it. I just kind of cut a length. So basically how we put the other cover around the drum for the heat, this is again gonna do the same thing for the front, only for the front, it's gonna be for abrasion, not heat. And because it's gonna be partially exposed because of where I'm mounting it in the front, it'll be nice because then like dirt and stuff like that just won't get into my winch line as much and it'll just kind of protect it uh, from the sun as well. So it'll just kind of prolong the life. And then again, whenever you hook up the winch to something, if you loop it or whatnot, you're not getting, it's just creating an extra protective layer for my winch line. That way it's not a... Uh, and I like how tight that one is to it. Yeah, so that's it a better size tight. than that big one. Yeah, it was a... A little bit of a challenge to get on there, but yeah, see, so yeah, we'll awesome. Run on there, and then now we'll put our, our hook on. Well, let's put the hook back on. All right, got the winch on with the protective cover. Nathan made a just quickly made a loop, real quick to loop that over. And man, those lights look really cool with that yellow. And I'll turn around so you can see what it looks like on the, that's the yellow beam there. Very cool. All right, Nathan just put a fire extinguisher mount in here. He is completely set up now. We got the, the winch installed, the headlight covers, fire extinguisher. What else? Oh, we put the bus bar on. What else did we do? Um, I think that's it, right? Yeah. I think bus bar, everything. winch, lights, and fire extinguisher. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. Hey guys, thanks for watching out here in the great state of Alaska. Got Nathan's uh, razor done, lots of stuff on it, and it was a good time. Hopefully we can get out and do a little, little ride, but we'll see what the weather does for us. So I pray that you have a, an amazing and blessed every day. And stay razor focused.